Hello and welcome to another video on numerical method with three steps method discussion solution and MATLAB code. In this lecture we discuss bisection method to solve non-linear equations. So we have a bisection method for finding numerical solution of an equation of the form f of x is equal to zero. Here we have conditions for bisection method f is continuous function on interval a b f of a and f of b have opposite signs. Bisection method. The bisection method is a bracketing method for finding a numerical solution of an equation of the form f of x is equal to zero. When it is known that within a given interval a b f of x is continuous and the equation has a solution. So this means uh, we only able to find solution uh, or we only able to solve this equation f of x is equal to zero when this equation has a solution in this interval a b and f of x is continuous on this interval we have already seen these are the conditions for the bisection method okay uh, so uh, when this is the case f of x will have opposite signs at the each end of the interval as shown ha uh, has a solution between the point x is equal to a and x is equal to b then either f of a greater than 0 and f of b less than 0 or f of a uh, greater than 0 and f of b f of a less than 0 and f of b greater than 0 so we have two possibilities over there uh, uh, for uh, our function these are the possibilities uh, this mean that f of a uh, may be greater than or less than and f of b uh, less than 0 and greater than 0. In other words, if there is a solution between x is equal to a and x is equal to b, then f of a into f of b less than 0. This is our condition we have already seen. Uh, so uh, this is a graph for our function when uh, f of a greater than 0 and f of b less than 0. This is our solution and uh, uh, f of b greater than 0 and f of a less than 0 working the process of finding a solution with the bisection method is illustrated in the figure it starts by finding points a and b that define an interval where uh, where a solution exists such an interval is found other either by plotting f of x and observing a uh, uh, zero crossing or by examining the uh, function for a sign change the midpoint of the interval x n numerical solution 1 is taken as the first estimate for the numerical solution the true solution is either in this section between a and uh, numerical solution 1 or in this section between numerical solution uh, 1 and b if the numerical solution is not accurate enough a new interval and uh, that contains the true solution is defined the new interval is the half of the original interval that contains the true solution and its midpoint is taken as a new uh, or second estimate of the numerical solution the process continues until the uh, numerical solution is accurate enough according to a according to a uh, criterion that is selected so this is the procedure for bisection method for finding numerical solution of nonlinear equation first we select interval in which solution exists um, by two ways number one by plotting f of x and observing a uh, observing a zero crossing number two by examining the function of our sine change this is graph of our function f of x is equal to 0 and it intersect the x-axis this is our solution and uh, this is uh, our uh, true solution where f of x is 0 this is our first iteration and we take the midpoint of uh, interval a b interval midpoint of our interval a b similarly a, we do in next iterations in iteration second and third until we get our required result 
algorithm for the bisection method number one choose the uh, first interval by finding points a and b such that the solution exists between them this means that f of a and f of b have different signs such that the product of f of a and f of b less than zero the points can be determined by examining the plot of f of x versus x number two uh, calculate the first estimate of the numerical solution by this one number three determine whether the true solution is between the a and x1 or x1 and b this is done by checking the sign of the product of f of a and f of x1 if f of a uh, product f of x1 less than zero the true solution is between a and f of uh, a and x1 if a, a product of f of a and f of x1 greater than zero the true solution is between uh, x1 and b select the sub interval that contains the true solution like uh, a x1 and um, b x1 b as the new interval uh, a b and go back to step two uh, step two throw uh, four or repeated until a specified tolerance or error is error bound is attained when are the iterations are stopped the tolerance is equal to b minus a divided by 2 less than or equal to given tolerance example find a numerical solution using bisection method consider x is equal to under root 2 with this and with interval 1 and 2 and this is our given tolerance epsilon is equal to 0 0.001 this is our the uh, formula of bisection method uh, with a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 2 uh, for what we do first we check uh, the sign of the function on the end points of the interval a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 2 f of a is negative and f of b is positive and the product of f of a and f of b will be less than 0 uh, this means that or uh, therefore the solution is lies between a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 2 and the function is continuous on this interval uh, this is our first iteration uh, x1 is equal to uh, a plus b divided by 2 and uh, what is a1 and 2 uh, divided by 2 this will be equal to 1.5 uh, so uh, we check uh, again the sign of the function on this uh, new estimated solution uh, f of x1 which is equal to uh, 0.25 which this is positive uh, so we check uh, the product of f of x1 with a and b uh, when we multiply f of a and f of x1 it will be less than zero and uh, if we multiply f of b and f of x1 it will be greater than zero and uh, uh, this means that the true solution is between a and x1 so our new interval will be this this is equal to 1 and 1.5 and uh, uh, after finding a numerical solution we will check the error or tolerance so so tolerance we have a formula for tolerance our estimated solution and uh, minus a divided by 2 this will be equal to 0 0.2500 uh, this is uh, greater than our uh, uh, given uh, tolerance or our given epsilon this is allowable error in our numerical solution we do uh, iterations until uh, the tolerance will be less than or equal to given or allowable error okay so this is our next iteration iteration number two uh, this is our uh, new uh, numerical solution estimated numerical solution then we check the sign of the function on this numerical solution and check whether the function is positive or negative product of f of x1 and f of x2 uh, is uh, less than zero so uh, the true solution is between x2 and x1 and this is our uh, new interval which uh, which is equal to 1.25 and 1.5 uh, so we again check our tolerance uh, of our uh, calculated new calculated new estimated solution uh, then we do uh, next iteration new iteration x3 and we do same procedure until we get our required result and the allowable error or the tolerance should be less than uh, our given 
uh, epsilon so this is our third iteration and uh, 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 error uh, or a tolerance between x1 and x3 is equal to 0 0.0625 again this is greater than 0 0.001 so after 13 iteration we get our required result and with the tolerance with is equal to 0 0.01 this is equal to our allowable error in 14 iteration it will completely equal to 0 and uh, we uh, again get this solution in 14 iteration this is our graph of our function and it intersect the x-axis at this point 1.41 Two. this is our the uh, numerical solution of our function now we write a MATLAB code for bisection method by follow this example on the same steps first we check whether the product of f of a to f of b is less than 0 or not number 2 we calculate new estimated solution and number 3 we check whether uh, we check a tolerance in our uh, solution and then we uh, do swapping of our solution so we write MATLAB code on these steps uh, number one and this and number two we calculate our new solution number three we check our tolerance in uh, solution and number four then we uh, swap our uh, solution with a new solution this is our given function with interval a is equal to one and b is equal to two these are the end point of the interval and epsilon is equal to 0 0.001 given tolerance or allowable error in a numerical solution so we write a MATLAB code for this example uh, for bisection method we do number of iteration n is equal to 100 and this command is to display iteration a b x n numerical solution and f of x n as uh, or tolerance and this is for loop for repeated iteration of our uh, numerical solution to calculate numerical solution i is equal to 1 to 100 and n is equal to 100 these are number of iteration this is our condition for bisection method the product of f of a into f of b should be less than 0 and this is formula of bisection method this is our tolerance these are the conditions these are the three steps first we check the product of f of a into f of b less than zero. Second, we do we calculate new estimated solution then we check tolerance in our solution next we display our result okay uh, like uh, i number of iteration a b x n s f of x n s and tolerance then we swapping new estimated solution uh, using these conditions that we have already discussed in our lecture so this is the stopping criteria when or uh, when uh, are the iterations are stopped when uh, absolute of b minus a divided by 2 less than epsilon this is our uh, allowable error in the uh, numerical solution so we plotting our function hold on for multiple uh, plotting and this command for plot x is x axis and y axis this will plot x axis with interval minus 10 to 10 this command will plot y axis with same interval and f plot command for plotting function f okay with interval 0 to 10 and plot this will plot uh, our estimated solution on graph this will uh, plot down arrow uh, this command to show result in a graph and hold off finally we try to run our MATLAB code and we will see the results so this is our graph for uh, uh, our function and uh, this is uh, our estimated solution and and this function this graph intersects the x-axis at 1.4142 okay and this will be equal to 0 f of x at this point will be equal to 0 and we have iterations these are the iterations
after 14 iteration okay we got our result 1.4142 and this is our tolerance thank you so much for watching my video